Especially a good Rhaegar. So aggressive. All right, and there's the, the Kael'thas first pick. I don't know. I wonder if we're going to see a Jaina, or if, like, last game, we're going to see a prioritization on uh, some displacement and stun. Uh, the Tyronda and uh, Diablo was fairly effective, but, uh, and it's a Thrall. It was. Hungry. That is an early Thrall pick, if that's what they're going to lock. There it is. There's the Jaina. Yep. Someone said, whoa, 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 Thrall. What? <laughs> Nah, I mean, they're all Jaina. Very strong GPSs. Jaina's got a lot more burst. Um, she's the, the second first mage, really, I think. I mean, not the first pick. She's the first mage. Um, got that, that huge amount of slow she's going to put out. Great AoE. Uh, we can see the Ring of Frost or Elemental, either one. Ring of Frost with the stuns on this map is actually really good. Certainly is, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that them actually lock in that Zagara. Highly contested here. Yep, yeah, there we go. It's a very common pick. You stick her in a lane, basically no one can deal with her. Uh, actually, they did fix the Jaina Ring of Frost in like the last patch, so it actually does do it in the full area. And we've got a Diablo pick coming out. Some great displacement and a great frontliner for Kael'thas. Uh, if you get the uh, if you get the charge suplex combo out and Kale follows it up with another stun and whoa, okay, Whew. they scared me for a second there. I was like etc this early, man. All right, we got a thrall right. pick. Very it looks good like pick. they looks saw like them they hover. Yeah, yep. I think they saw that hover. Let's see if we can get a ban here. I wonder if we're gonna get like an etc ban or if Uncle Gazel is like playing some mind games. I wouldn't be surprised to see him ban out a, another healer of choice to go pair well with that. Maybe maybe a medic ban. Maybe Karazim. Maybe there's a tank strangle. Going to need someone else with that Dibbles. They they are going to want someone else with that Dibbles. Um, Dibbles can solo tank. I just, since Dibbles doesn't have an escape, um, it's very difficult to. They do already have the Thrall. Go full in yeah so they've got a very strong front line uh diablo thrall is very good front line and a tehran ban i like it tehran diablo kale Thrall thrall would have been horrifying etc ban out of gazlo do not want to deal with that mosh i'm gonna be honest if i was arisa i'm happy with that ban because i don't think i wanted to take etc against the kale thrall already and a diablo that's just ass a bad day get stunned out of mosh yeah, I mean, you've got Apocalypse, Sunder, and Gravity Lapse. I mean, that's just so many stuns already. Let's see. I think Arisa needs to get some strong frontliners in here, um, and maybe another assassin. Looks like they're going to prioritize Uther. Uh, I wonder if that is to uh, to counter the uh, the large amount of stuns and damage we've got coming out of uh, Gazo. Throw that Divine Shield on, and you can whoever got caught out can just sort of walk away. A Kerrigan hover. Ooh. We see a Kerrigan on this comp. I I Kerrigan's not a bad choice. I uh I think Thrall counters her pretty well, so does Dibbles. He can just kinda knock her around. They do They're choose the it. Kerrigan. Interesting choice. What's that fifth pick that they're trying to hide there then? That, that's got to be something funky. Are well, they going to run double melee assassin? Uh, at this point, I, I think that they're just saying that we'll take any tank you give us. Yeah, and I'm wondering if uh, Gazel's still got to pick up a healer, and uh, I honestly don't think they would need too much more DPS. I think a uh, actually a Sonya pickup for Gazel wouldn't be too bad, but personally I'd like to see a, a Rainer or maybe... Um, a Vala or a Falstad? Falstad would be quite good here. We could also uh, see uh, another specialist come out. Um, we've already seen a, a Lost Vikings hover. True. Um, but you gotta, they're, they're trying to pick someone who will stand against Zagar. I mean, they've already got Thrall, so I think you would look for someone else, because you can stick Thrall in lane against Zagar and he'll be fine. Absolutely. I mean, that's like the, the classic lane matchup is Thrall against Sigara. Um, he's one of the few people who can stand up to her. And Sylvanas! Mm, that's an interesting pick. 
Go ahead and lock in Kerosene. Yeah, get that healer. All right, so we've got a divine. We're gonna see some divine palms, hopefully. Uh, and at this point, I, got, uh, I see no point here. reason why they wouldn't take Muradin at this point. I I would agree. Muradin would work pretty well here with reverberation. Um, great stun. Uh, even even whoa. Stitches. Is it happening? Are we gonna? Oh, uh, we're gonna have. It books. is happening. Oh yeah. Oh, and with the Jaina slows and the Kerrigan pull into in the Kerrigan combo, that's actually not too bad. This could be nasty. Yeah, I mean, you can ice if they can get that hook off. It's like that person's instantly gone. But I don't know. I'm gonna say uh, I think Arisa is. Um, a little, uh, I don't know, one, one, uh, one-minded or linear in their combat style because um, it is a one-trick pony we've got going with our Mons. Yeah, though Zagara is going to be able to split so very well from the team, so we'll see that how it will goes. Be strong. All right, let's get all the players reading up all in here and. Uh, And we will get into game. So both two very strong teams. Uh, the Stitches is still going to be a meat bag, uh, even if he doesn't land his hook. Kerrigan's going to go in and be able to hopefully harass that Kale. Sylvanas pair. Uh, Uncle Gazlo only them. has Dibbles, so this is this is two tanks here. Only one per side. Yeah, but uh, I think the Thrall, Thrall kind of doubles as sort of a bruiser. He's really tanky. For uh, a melee assassin, he does. And I think, uh, I think the lockdown actually is pretty even on both sides. To be honest, um, I think Karazim, if Karazim gets caught out of position, um, it's actually really good that they chose Karazim as opposed to a medic here, because uh, Karazim can just dash back to his team. And uh, let's head right into this game. Then, I think that ETC ban was a little funky, but um, I am not uh, Uncle Gazlo, so I'm, I don't know all the uh, all the tricks and magics. All right, we've got Dragonhawk on Thrall, Icewing on Sylvanas, Guava Bean on Diablo, uh, Lawil, Lawul, Lawul on Karazim, and Blurby on Kaeldos. And we've got Skylab on Uther, Particle on Zagara, Epoxy on Jaina, Kosh Josh on Kerrigan and Korta Ibba on Stitches. Um, I think we're gonna see a 4 1 split out of Arisa Mons here, and I'd say Uncle Gazlo would either, either leave uh, Thrall or Sylvanas to try and counter that Zagara. Either one would be a strong choice. Alright, I, um, I think Thrall would be better up top with his lockdown. Uh, assisting Diablo because uh, you get that uh, shadow charge into overpower and then you root them and they're they're probably dead Prepare yourselves for battle heroes all right so we have uncle Gazlo lining up three at the middle gate one at top and one at bottom, and we've got all five of Arisa Mons running around in the middle there. We've got that basic horse out of Uther. Look at that. Oh. Whew, haven't seen one of those in a while. All right. Man, that's Sylvanas. Look at that mount color coordination. Dang. All right. Looks like we've got a 4-1 split out of Arisa Mons, and uh, Zagar is down in bottom lane. Looks like uh, Uncle Gazlo is setting up a little bit of a party bush here. So uh, that'll be interesting to see. Yo, that Stitches skin is sweet. Alright, just some posturing. You know, lanes are out, Uncle Gazlo coming in. Uh, the positioning of Stitches though, I mean, I don't think the gang is going to do anything. And that uh, he tried to get a fight. Yeah, he missed that hook. Give him a shot. Down bottom, we've got 
Zagar and Sil. Zagar is already spreading that creep, and his vision's just gonna start climbing out. All right, a little bit of poke here from both teams. I think, um, I would say, uh, Uncle Gazzle has a little bit better poke in the Thrall and the, uh, and Kale boss versus the, um, Arisa Mon. Uh, Kerrigan can't really, ooh, ooh, stun misses, but they get the rest of the combo, and Thrall is gone because of that hook. Man, that was fast. Deleted. Yeah, jeez. I didn't. I didn't know people could die so fast. That was that was crazy. Hooks, hooks, man. Oh, oh, and he misses the hook again. Woo, man. This this is really aggressive with these hooks. All right, and from what it looks like, I think uh, I think we had pretty standard talents across the board. Am I right? Uh, we do have that uh, lost soul on Sylvanas. She's opting for the vulnerable later in the game, as opposed to the. Oh, we've got a little tussle up here. Top Diablo and Stitches going at it. The rest of the teams are coming in. Oh, uh, Dibbles. Dibbles getting body blocked, pulled in, and dead from the care again. And actually, uh, Jaina did opt for deep chill, so um, I find that interesting. I thought most people would start switching over to Linger. Uh, lingering is nice. Deep chill is okay as well. Well, that stitches. Yeah, his big fat body getting in all the stunts. They're doing some right. work and on that blue. immortal. Soaking both lanes yeah. at the same time. I... Arisa Mons has put in some practice, man. The rotations are looking great. The hooks are on point. They, they have a level lead. I mean... I think uh, Gazzle's just got to put as much damage as they can on this Immortal. Actually, Gazzle's catching up here. Oh man, it's going to be close. I think Gazzle might take it. Gazzle's going to take it. Right, and there it is. Look at that. That's Zagara auto attack. Or that, uh, sorry, that Thrall Sylvanas auto attack. Couldn't, uh, and just the Zagara couldn't beat it. Man. Well, Crazy. RC Amon's had to go back and tap the well. I mean, uh, they do have some pretty mana mana intensive characters. We've got Jaina not taking any mana talents, opting for a very large AOE build. Ooh, this might be a mistake here. At least Mon's only left stitches at top. Luther's coming up to help, but I don't know if those two can put out enough damage to kill the Immortal. I think they're going to take both towers. They are going to get both towers. It's not going to go much farther than that. They're keeping their soak up. He might be in trouble here. He is. Well, he is. He is. Those Diablo body blocks were pretty on point, but Uther and his natural fattiness got him out. Thus ends my so that Actually, was half damage on the floor. Yeah. But interestingly enough, look at the Fall and Sylvanas' talent. Two Envenoms? That is a double Envenom team. That's They're looking a, to throw that I, on I that Kerrigan. Yeah. They're looking to melt the squishies, either Jaina or Kerrigan, even Zagara. I mean, I also have an amplified choice. healing on Uther, uh, opting not to go for the protective shield. It looks like for more healing for himself. I think that's very interesting. Um, so, I think uh, protective would have been very good on stitches. Uh, the percentage health on stitches is going to get ridiculously high with Hungry for more. The, but, um, the hook? Ooh, the hook on the dibbles. And like Bill's just going to kind of ignore all that damage. <laughs> uh, actually, Wait. for uh, for the seven talents, Uther's taking the hammer one. Right, he's not taking the cleanse. That's uh, very interesting. I wonder if they're going to try and run in sort of like a semi frontliner here. I don't know how much I think about that. We've got Endless Creep out of Zagara. Ooh. That's Adaptation oh, man. for the Kerrigan. Whoa. That's interesting. Can jump to allies looking to get out of trouble, probably. So, oh, and up in top lane, we've got a little bit of a tussle going on. Stitches, Diablo, Uther, and Jaina are all at about half health, while um, Blue Team here is still looking pretty good. They're going to tap that well. 
Janus is heading back. I mean, that's the thing. She didn't take any mana talents, so she's going to have to head back every time she's low or go hit a well. And speaking of talents, Sylvanas also took the Life Drain on the Shadow Dagger. Wow, so she's uh, she's expecting to do a little bit of laning by herself then, I guess. Or laning, a little sustain. bit of healing in the team fights. Yeah. And I mean, I guess if you did take the uh, the reduction, bit you might as well here. take life. Oh, they catch Dibbles with the combo. Oh, and then the stun is bouncing in trouble. a good spot, but he gets a good knockback on Cooper. His guard was a little out of position there on the flank. Is Dibbles going to go down? Does Stitches have a hook? No, he's switching to Sylph. Oh, Sylph's gone. Ooh. Oh, and the hook from Stitches misses. Good play, though, by Arisa Mons, turning that around. Oh, and Uther gets caught out by Dibbles. Uther's low. He's got a chain bomb on him. I think he's gone. It's going to finish him. Oh, yes, it does. Man, those chain bombs and their delayed damage. Stick is a little far forward here, if I do say so. No, he's got that self suspension, so it's no worry. Man, that Countess Kerrigan skin. She's running through her mana though pretty quick. But, oh man, look at this cigar of vision all across bottom lane. Like when they're when the immortal is in the lower position, they can see like everything. Alright, Arisa Mons looking for the kerosene. And here comes the Kale to zone out. Oh the hook misses! Oh no, Uther gets pulled out of position. Huge stun out of the Immortal! Oh, Kerrigan's low. Gonna get killed by Dibbles. Get that Kerrigan. Stitches went too deep for that kill. Got a little too hungry. Stitches. And they're and gonna I think they're gonna grab an Immortal. Here. Though, uh, a recent mod is very much so keeping up with the XP, even with giving away, uh, three kills right there. Absolutely, they'll be looking, they'll both be looking at ults. Yep, and here we go, let's see what we've got. Putrid Bile out of Stitches, Maelstorm out of, uh, Kerrigan, and Maw out of, um, Sagara. I think I would've been really scared if there was Midas. I mean, surprised, not scared. Uh, Divine Shield out of Ether. Uh, water elemental out of him, that's pretty normal. The brawl's getting low okay. here, but he's going into the thunder. Look how deep they are! Oh man, Stitches and Carrigan Still goes down. So deep. All the palm. Invulnerable Carrigan. Invulnerable. And somehow no one dies? Oh, that invulnerability. I, I, I do not understand. Someone should have died there. They were, did you see how deep they were? All crazy. this time, the immortal going to work. It is. I think they're going to lose. The oh, they're there. definitely going to lose that. And their top one's actually only at half, uh, thanks to some good pushing from uh, earlier. So, Arisa Mon's doing very well, but uh, running a little bit behind in structures now. Alright, and we didn't even look at the ults for the other team. Phoenix, Sundering, Wailing, Apocalypse, and Divine Palm. All great abilities. Now, uh, I personally have been on the end of the Wailing Sundering before, and uh, that hurts a lot. It certainly does. They're looking for some disruption and a full team wipe out of it. Oh, yes. it's uh, He's got this nice Jaina Kale fight up here. Looks like uh, Stitches is taking the uh, their uh, shaman right here, and uh, we might have a tussle down here in bottom lane. Zagara notices uh, the enemy team is taking some giants. Oh, they're trying to bait her through, but she's not. She's not buying it. She's like, nope, not happening. I find it interesting that Arisa didn't try and get a picture on Kayla, but his positioning was quite good. It looks like Arisa will. Attempt to take some towers, but Kale holding it back. Yep. Dropping that Phoenix there. It's only got a 40 second cooldown, so you can just throw it out every, you know, few seconds. And, you know, it's like, if you could use it, you should have a little like yeah, it. looks like we've got a rotation up here by Uncle Gazlo to uh, take these top siege coats. 
Man, they've got some great lane pushing going on. And I think this is where Arisa's is going to have a little trouble. Um, their lane clear is a little on the low side, even with Sagara. Well, and they're certainly going to have to take care of this before they go to Immortals. That is for sure. But it looks like we've got a push up here in top lane. Uh, Uncle Gazzle using the Phoenix to zone out the defense, but waiting on the minions to push in. I think I would have just pushed in. You've got Dibbles and, you know, Kerosene. Might as well go in. Same time, you've got Zagara bottom lane going to work on that tower. Dude, Stitch is making himself uh, annoying up top. They're going to rotate Uncle Gazzle down. is collapsing down. Cigar is already mounted. Mm. Oh, oh! The Jukes. Juke City is a place, and Cigar just took Uncle Gazlo there. Oh man! Oh, but I don't think Cigar is going to get away from that. But the Divine Shield, perfectly done. Good suffering by the all the Jukes. Kerrigan pops the Venom Storm. Kerrigan is gone. Cigar is gone. Stitches is gone. And Uther is walking away. <laughs> And Jaina picked up at the end there. Man! Uncle Gazlo showing the team fight power in enclosed spaces of Kale Sunder and Sundering with that Sylvanas spread. You're gonna have to look out for that in the future. Oh, definitely. Oh, and, I mean, look at top lane too. They stuck Diablo up there uh, to get some push going. Dibbles, the man, the myth, the legend, taking a fort right there with two wax of his hands. Good turnaround from Uncle Gazzle. And see here, Arisa Mons, man. I mean, they drafted a very one-minded comp, linear comp. You gotta land the hooks. And the hooks just happen to match. The Dibbles caught out by the combo. Stitches diving in. into the ball. Good, good mob, but it's funny. See a Maelstrom, and there's the storm. And she. The chain bomb is murdering Jaina. They're all out of position though. It's picked off. One for one. Oh, the grab on the silk. Can she get away? Yes, yeah, she can. Oh man, those chain bombs are just doing work, Melov. That's certainly why he was first pick. Oh yeah, Kale's putting out loads of damage. I mean, Battlefield of Eternity has a lot of cramped spaces. And uh, Chain Bomb is uh, very strong in these little cramped areas, especially with the uh, extra explosion power. All right, we've got uh, Uncle Gasso pushing with their immortal here. Arissa trying to kite back in defense. Thrall's not here yet, so it's actually a five v four right now. Um, they got a hook off on uh, Kale, but we're unable to make it uh, capitalize. We're unable to capitalize on it. Man, that was bad. Alright, here we go. They're diving in. That Dibble's here comes the combo out. There's the Sunder only catches the car. The Sunder into Apocalypse is very strong. And Kerrigan's kind of trying to run away and hide. The Thrall has got her number and the rest of the team does. That would be oh, a dead God. Kerrigan. The rest of the team oh, trying yeah, to Vin. deal with this immortal. Yep, and I think he's gonna take the keep here, and they might even take someone else if they're all gonna root here. And Uther there's getting there is the vulnerable. Shield. Did not want to use Ooh. that on himself. No, he did not. He looked like he was trying to save as long as possible. Well, I mean, what's done is done. I mean, with the increase on cooldown now on it, it's it's definitely not something you want to be using more often. Um, alright. It's a uh, blessed champion from Uther. That's Interesting. It's been a while since we've looked at these talents here. The cold Embrace, of course. Yeah. The Arcane Barrier. Very common. Circle of Life. Actually, that's a pretty... It's a quite good talent. Um, I would have thought for Stitches you would have taken something else to counter the slows, but uh, since he went Relentless, I guess there really wasn't a need to take the, uh, the extra slow. Uh, Got icy veins on end. Jaina, Groob spines. Right there. We do have an essence for essence. I think it's very interesting that Jaina didn't take uh, ice block. It is, it is. Can ice block away that thrall, the dibbles charge. Yeah. Alright, well, we got Northern Exposure coming out from Jaina. Uh, 
Gathering Radiance increases damage by 10% of enemies hit. And ooh, there's going a funky build, man. Oh yes, and the fishing hook out of uh, out of old oh, that triple combo. Shares just going up and double maw, wasting the maelstrom. She's stuck actually. Cool. That's all right. They're gonna get two kills there. Can they capitalize and make it four? Oh, Kerrigan lands a stun. Oh, but he dropped the stasis. Can he get away? Maybe. It looks like no one, uh, no one stayed back to take care of him. Oh, instead just misses the hook. They almost had three kills there, but they've got two. They should push the advantage. Uh, they may yet still have kerosene here. Yes, they might. Oh, Kerrigan barely misses the combo, but Sipsy's hook is going to be up in a couple seconds, I would think. Question is whether he can land it. And he and the can, hook, but there's it is no follow-up. It isn't. The team has rotated down to take care of the immortal, and Stitches was off doing his own thing. Well, they're gonna put some quick damage on the uh, on Uncle Gazzle's immortal right here, and uh, Uncle Gazzle is gonna counter and put damage on Arisa Mons. Cause that's about all they can do. Here. All right. Well, that top lane is gonna need to be cleared pretty soon. For uh, Arisa Mons. Looks like they're dropping back to be a little more defensive. I think Kerrigan went to go tap well. Maybe Cigar as well. And it looks like two teams are posturing. No one wants to fight. This is a, this is a MOBA, guys. Battle Arena. Make it happen. Show us the battle. As far as talent choices go, uh, Thrall's pretty standard, and actually Diablo went with um, Rampage, which increases his movement speed, uh, so giving him a little bit more of an escape against the hooks. It's a very interesting talent choice you don't see very often. Oh, and here comes the fight. Oh, that's Sunder for the Maz. The Apocalypse. Oh, Kerrigan's got the invulnerable on him. This is going down. Low. Low. And he'll fall. Gone. Uther getting low, but he will get away. Dibble. Oh, and we get a second kill up here. Dibbles is down. Thrall is down. Can Kerrigan finish him off? Oh, the chain bombs are starting to spread, though. And, yeah, I think uh, Arisa like, Mons needs to leave. It looks like they'll be happy with their three kills. Oh, yeah. And only lost stitches, though. Um, but with Kale still up, I mean... You gotta, there, there's a reason they couldn't press their advantage there. They are I think, certainly uh, showing I, respect to that chain bomb. They are. I think Arisa needs to do a little more damage on the Immortal right now, which they are doing. They here comes will, Kale. Kale's gonna come in posture. Throw yeah, out that there's Phoenix. The, uh, there's that Phoenix. It was exciting. You know it. Did you see all those Phoenix killed by that stun? It did. Yeah, just wipe them. Well, and Zagara getting caught in that stun, that is not good. Well, I'm powered to strike. Right? But Arissa's gonna get that. No questions about it. I have a heavy is that immortal the first immortal in for Arissa? I believe it is, Moaf. I believe it is. And we are. These teams are level, level, neck and neck. However, the structures are very far on the side of Uncle Gazlo right now. We do have a Looks near like 20 minute immortal here for them. Yeah. Arissa is going to shift to the top and uh, push with this immortal, which I think the is really the right choice. All right, right. Sundering. Uh, Thrall gets off to this under. Dibbles is in the, uh, in the bar right here. Apocalypse lands on three people, but not much happens. Wailing on the Uther. Dibbles gets caught in that. Thrall's gone. Stitches is going to make it out. Oh, that chain bomb, though. Look at that. Woo. And there is still five of up on the race side. Yeah, but look how low they are. They can't take a uh, they can't take a five v uh, a five v four right now. They cannot. That think... mortal's still doing some work. Yes, it is. I think they're gonna shift down and take this other fort though here. They are indeed. And I think it's a very good choice. Uh, if you take this fort and if you can take the other two towers, uh, I don't know if they're gonna be able to do that though. It looks like. Um, Uncle Gazzo is moving here to be defensive. Arissa's not taking the bait. They're just going to move and start taking uh, sea goats. I think it's the right call. 
certainly is the right call. I'm glad you agree. You know, it's nice. It's nice to hear that I'm right. It's much better than like being they wild. are gonna step a little bit forward, maybe look for a fight. Here we go. Dibble's getting spotted. Dibble's low out of position, but so is Stitches. Stitches, Stitches, bringing that chain bomb back that to the team. Chain bomb back to Zagara. Hey, and you know what? That is actually why uh, Sylvanas took that vulnerable. For that chain bomb. Oh, that is a beautiful thunder. Perfect. And the chain uh, goes down. Carrying, but it didn't happen. And I think uh, Arisa needs to drop back and get out of here and look at that peel on that Stitches vial. Whew. Whoa. Three bolts of the storm picked up by um, uh, Uncle Gazlo and two bolts of the storm picked up by Arisa Mons. Wow. Hardened shield by Stitches. Might be a re-engage here. Looks yeah, like they need caught. They are. Re-engage. Sundering. A bunch of things are caught. Zagar makes it out. Everyone makes it out. That was a five man ball. That was a five man ball. They didn't have any AOE to capitalize on it, but that allowed them to disengage and make it out uh, with no casualties. I will deliver this realm from your corruption, Hell's Man, that was We crazy. also have that Tyrant Maw on uh, Zagara. Yeah, Adds I 50 saw that. 50% more damage. That's a... And yeah. what, Maw does about 500 damage now? Yeah. Starting at level 10, I think. And they got that constant pass screen there. They've got to keep playing the top lane, and they're losing this immortal because of it. With an immortal this late, I I think uh, if it's a full strength, it's going to be GG if they lose this. I think Arissa's got to fight this. All the brawl grab, the, uh, the bolt. And there's the blink. That's why we got them. Oh, they're diving into the immortal. Gated by the uh, immortal himself. Blue team getting low. Space is going off on Kerosene. Stitches is gonna go down. Thrall is gonna go down. Kerosene is gonna go down. All that's left is Kaofoss running from the Kerrigan. The combo goes off. Oh! And they get Kaofoss. And they're gonna take the immortal here. I don't know what I feel. I think they should have gone for a keep. All this time they do have minions right at their core they do someone is gonna have to go back and i personally would send jaina right now i mean he needs health and mana anyway you might as well get her back there that shield's starting to wear down Ooh, i don't know if they're coming and they fixed that uh they fixed the bug where the core could actually kill uh these actually that was on uh infernal shrines though right uh, it was on towers of doom it was on towers of doom Kind of doom. Doesn't have cattle. He's on Inferno Shrines. Anyway, they're gonna get- Arisa Mons is gonna get this Immortal, and they're gonna head back. They're starting to take some core damage, though. Just a little bit, about 15%. Um, all of Uncle Gazzo is starting to spawn back in, and Arisa Mons is gonna need to clean that lane, and uh, head back and defend here. And, oh man, this is- this, this top lane is just keeping them from pushing how they want to. They do have a, a quarter shield of mortal pushing in. Yeah. They're, they're leaving that uh, that one catapult there. Uh, got some coke on. I think, uh, I think that Carissa Mons has got to either win off of this, or their quarter is going to be so low that uh, Uncle Gazlo can just walk right in and take the game. Both teams playing so well. All right, this immortal is doing some work on this keep. It's already down to half, and the immortal has a quarter of its health left. All oh, Rissa getting to pull off on Diablo. Combo and everything goes off on Diablo. He's a apocalypse. Three members. Oh, so oh, they're gonna have to separate. So much chain bomb right there. Whoa! Somehow they all make it out. No core damage Look. yet. Look how low they are, Moa. Oh my gosh. That's craziness. Whole team was like under a tenth of health. Man, I can't believe Diablo made it out of that.
But now that same pressure is being applied to Uncle Gazlo's bottom lane, so they're going to have to think about it the rest of the match as well. Yeah, and I think, uh, and you can see Sitch's self-sustain right here. I mean, he actually took the um, regeneration talent, uh, using Devour on an enemy hero, permanently increases the regeneration by 2 per second. So, not only does he have more health, but he has extra regeneration, and that's all amplified. And that regeneration is amplified by amplified healing. So, that's, that's, a, that's a hefty stitches. Gonna Ooh. meet at the bruisers here again. Uncle Gazlo, party bushing it. But Dibble's coming out. They've given it away. They know it's coming. The oh, hook on the carriage. Good, good uh, sundering right there. But uh, Uncle Gazlo not really willing to approach through this wall here. Uncle Gazlo is going to take the uh, the bruisers. Ooh. If Arisa Mons had decided to re-engage, that could have been really bad. That chain bump took Ma him down, really, really low. That's true. And with Ma down, I don't think uh, Arisa Mons is doing good. Both teams just going to go clear him out before they have to deal with an immortal. Looks like Arisa Mons is going to be a little late. Yep, and it looks like Arisa Mons is starting to uh, rotate down as well, Uncle Gaslo. Looks like we're going to meet at Arisa's Immortal. I think Arisa's going to look for a hook here. And there it is on Kerosene. Oh, this is perfectly timed! Oh, man! And they're going to look at it and make work. Ma on two members of the enemy team. Stun coming out immediately. Oh, Apocalypse, but I don't think he's going to do anything. Thrall's getting cut off. Stitches all oh, misses the hook and Thrall bolts away. And I think Arissa either needs to take the immortal quickly or go core here. It looks like well, they the Diablo to take came the back up, so uh, the immortal is the safe bet at this point. It is, and especially uh, with Kale Boss and Thrall, you can't just run in and um, you know try and take it because Sundering is up now, and uh, Chain Bombs and Sundering with Apocalypse. Uh, I mean, Apocalypse look to re-engage with that chain bomb. That's true. All right, and uh, it looks like Arisa's is going to get this uh, first transition here on the Immortal. But then for the second transition, they're going to have to win another team fight. You know, for however weird that Uther's build is, he is doing quite well on keeping his uh, heroes alive and his healings are not too far uh, off of what it should be. It seems a little off, but um, I mean, I, not too many people have died. I've got a pretty good game going right now, and Arisa Mom's very close to getting it. Sunder going out on the enemy. Oh, Uther's gonna go down. No, he drops the Divine Shield at the last second. He actually took Bulwark of Light. That's very interesting. Stitches is getting caught out of position here. Stitches might be going down. It looks like... Stitches is saved by that Uther. Oh man, but that... Oh no. Oh, the Chain Bomb. Oh. How did Arisa Mons make it out with no one dead? And they took the immortal to the cigar snuck it. Oh, brilliant! Love it. <laughs> All right, Uncle Gaslow needs to get their defense ready and kite this immortal back to their base. Both teams though have that one lane to watch out for, and uh, like bottom lane right now still needs to pop down there and get that clear. He's just gonna start putting on core pressure. Arisa Mons is going core. Someone made the call. And uh, it doesn't look like Uncle Gazlo knows what's up. They don't know they yet. Don't have the vision. Here it is, they know now. Arisa Mons is in there, going for core. That shield is dropping fast. Oh, Arisa Mons is back in the air. Apocalypse. Oh, a Kerrigan is going to go down. That's a dead Kerrigan. That is a dead Kerrigan. Oh. And they still and have this immortal cigar. to contend with. This still immortal is still on court. It's at 40, 37%. This immortal is really worse. Oh man, 25% core.
core right now. Arisa Mons only has three people up. Are they gonna lose to a five-man push here at the end? They're certainly Uncle gonna Gazzle. back and prevent it. Yeah, they've gotta back up. Uncle Gazlo only has about 40 seconds, 30-ish 30, now. It's dropping really quick to make something happen. I think taking these, uh, oh, these shamans right here is a mistake. Here. They come. Is that bolt out of Jaina getting her out? Stitches just with the juice, man. Buying time for the team. Yep. I mean, as we talked about earlier, it's a massive amount of health and and push back. It's only 10 seconds away. until the guard is up. Kerrigan's up now. And Kerrigan is up now. Oh, Stitches is locking them all right in there. But that core is dropping so fast. It's at 50%. 40, 30, 26. Wrong. Sylvanas and Kale's in the Maw. It's at 12% if Kale can do anything. Oh, Kale explodes! 9% core! And this oh is my G god! Oh, this is Kale's core in his game! <laughs> oh my god! That was crazy. They're leaving Jaina behind. There's already the cannons on the core. There's already Katas on the core. Oh my gosh. I think they're really more like Ballista, but no, it's just that, that was crazy. Amazing turnaround. Arissa is gonna take this game in minute 33. They're gonna take this game. Wow. The turnarounds. The turnarounds there at the end. Good game to everyone. Red team is victorious. Just goes to show, never give up. Never give up and never surrender. Was there a pause call? I saw some people typing, saying pause. There the was chat. a pause called indeed at the end. Um, I, I believe it was a joke. Okay. Because I don't think anyone disconnected. So no, the whole team was down. Sure. Uh, it was it was definitely over. It was a it was a really <laughs> good game. Uh, Uncle Gazlo showed some early game aggression, took the first three immortals, but Arisamons came back and pulled themselves back into the game one with that oh, yeah. late and, game immortal and uh arissa showed some very very good synergy between kerrigan stitches when they pulled that kerosene uh and that kerrigan dropped the uh the stun before like right when the pull happened that was awesome the timing was gorgeous it was quite the game probably one of the best games i've seen and uh Good game to Arisa Mons there. Very, two very good teams there playing very well. Um, and I think that's it for the evening for us. Am I right, Noel? Uh Yeah, that, that is it for us for the evening. Um, very good games, guys. Uh, it was very evenly matched, but uh, one has to come out on top, and today it was Arisa. Remember, 50% of the teams in Chair League lose on Mondays and Thursdays. So keep it positive. All right, y'all have a good evening, and uh, this is Mo Off and Red signing off.